Howdy everyone, it's me Grace, and welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you how I made this Vampire Hunter's utility belt. Before we start the video today, I just wanted to let you know that I've launched some stickers on my store website. Select stickers profits will be going towards out youth and find the children. I hope you'll check it out. Now let's get into the video. This belt was created for my original Vampire Hunter character, High Priestess Aster. But with this tutorial, you can create a utility belt for whatever cosplay you'd like. First, I'm drawing out my pattern on some standard paper. When pieces of paper weren't large enough for my drawing, I just taped the paper together to make it work. I'm going for an asymmetrical shape for my base of the belt, with a center area that will be big enough to have a functional pocket attached. I held up my stakes to the side straps to make sure the strap would be wide enough to support them. By the way, these are convention safe stakes that I made with EVA foam. If you're curious how I made them, I hope you'll check out my Vampire Hunter kit video on my channel. After the pattern pieces were done, I traced them onto some 5mm EVA foam from SKS Props. He has wonderful foam products on his website if you're looking to start foam crafting yourself. I'll have the link below if you'd like to check them out. Now that everything is cut out, I'm creating the pocket first. I'm attaching a long, thin piece of foam to the inside of the pocket shape like so. This will create the width of the pocket to store things in. When using contact cement like this, be sure you're wearing proper protection equipment. The fumes from this glue are toxic to breathe in. Also, make sure your pets aren't anywhere near this stuff while you're using it. Once the edge is attached to the pocket, I'm gluing it down to the base of the belt. I'm also gluing down the pouch flap near the opening of the bag. My crossbow came with this nifty quiver made from bamboo. It's lightweight enough that I can glue it down to the base of the belt and use some more EVA foam to reinforce the quiver. I threaded this strip of foam through the back of the belt for an extra sturdy hold. After the glue was dry and the fumes completely dissipated, Salaire really wanted to join me for a nap on my crafting table. Now it's time to attach the snaps. I'm attaching snaps on the opening of the belt with thread. I'm also adding a snap to the pouch flap so it stays closed and my foam won't fall out while using it. I'm using sandpaper to smooth the EVA foam edges around the corner of the belt. This helps give it a more organic, leather look. I'm also sanding the quiver to prepare it for painting. To prime the utility belt, I'm coating it with two layers of Plasti Dip Spray. Once the primer was dry, I painted it with a couple coats of a brown acrylic paint wash. For the quiver, I used red so it would complement the rest of the costume. And of course, the arrows had to match as well. Aster has a rose motif on a lot of her weapons and accessories. I wanted the utility belt to reflect that too. To make the roses, I'm painting some red circles and going back in with brown acrylic paint to add the petals. But what is a vampire hunter's belt without some stakes? I added some industrial velcro with hot glue to the belt to add the stakes. I figured I could cover the little black square with the palm of my hand when taking pictures with it. A small price to pay for a lot of convenience. And with that, the utility belt is complete. This week's Makers of the Week are John Atkins, 
who's working on some tabletop figures and terrain. I love the color schemes he went with. Scott Beam made this Ray Bulger marionette. He's so detailed. Raquel made the spell book from Hocus Pocus, and it's just perfect. Finally, Joe showed me his Chad Noir cosplay. You worked so hard on this costume, and the photos turned out wonderfully. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, I hope you'll consider subscribing, because I would love to see you back. Until next time, bye y'all.